Hi, I'm Hong Ten from Microsoft Research Asia, and I want to talk to you about haptics today. We've all had the following experience. It's cold outside, so put on my gloves, go outside the house, take out my car keys, and I want to open the car door with my remote. I cannot feel the buttons on my key because I'm wearing a glove, so I look down, take a glance at the buttons, press on it, the door opens. The fact that I cannot feel these buttons does not bother me because I can always look at that key and find that button and execute a press. Now, what if I tell you this is exactly how we have been interacting with our computers? We touch that screen with a numb hand, but we cannot feel anything other than a piece of cold glass. We're developing technologies that's going to enable you to not only touch, but feel that computer screen. What we have done is we want to create a sensation when you type that's much more similar to a key click, not just an abstract sound, not just an abstract vibration. So we do this by taking the screen actually literally off of that phone and put piezo electro materials under the bezel. Now when you have a keyboard you're typing on the phone, the glass literally bends instantaneously, very small bending. But that's enough to tell your finger that it feels like a key click. This is our surface touch cover, except it's only a cover. We have taken everything outside and put different things in there. Again, we use piezoelectric actuators. So when I send a high voltage to it, they buckle, and that is the mechanism for creating that sense of click under your fingertip. And we find that people do type faster and they make less errors when they can have this kind of key click as compared to just sound feedback, which is typically implemented in uh, most of these devices. Let me move on and talk about feeling things on the screen. So here I have a checkerboard on a Lumia 920 phone. The black part feels a bit sticky and the white part feels smoother. Now we do this by putting a piece of glass on top of the phone, and we again use the wonderful piezoelectric actuators on top of that piece of glass, and we vibrate that glass at very high frequency, this way, up and down. But what happens is when you run your finger on that piece of glass, it can trap a very small piece of air between your finger and that screen, and this is what makes the screen feel smoother. The last demo is very similar. We change surface friction, uh, so you can feel different regions as different textures, but we do this with a different mechanism. We call this electrostatic haptics. The fingertip is filled with fluid here, so when there's charges here, it attracts the opposite charges towards them. So that creates a force that pulls the finger down. Now when you move your finger back and forth, I can fool people into thinking that something's happening on that piece of glass. I hope that we've given you a glimpse into the future of human-computer interaction where we can not only reach out and touch, but feel what's on that computer screen. Thank you.